Hi, Sukane007 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics. In our last part, we started this map with these uh, annoying red squares, so... And then let's continue. That's a nice count, uh, counter kick, 128. And then you're just gonna toss Yusuke more poison his way. Wow. Actually, no, that's toxic. Because the neat thing is, if you actually have people standing on the parts where the monsters are supposed to be, they won't spawn. 155. Well, wow, everything of use case actually uses spirit energy. I just noticed that. Darkness Flame. <laughs> 207. And maybe now this will actually uh, knock him out. Is it 16? Rose Uh, not this seed. So, yeah, what I'm trying to do right now is. Sprint Yusuke from where I am, all the way over to that red square that you see in the top right hand part. And we'll go here. Focus healing. Because yeah. we all know Yusuke needs that. You go here, attack. Let's start get injecting you with poison. That's fine. I can do this with four. You saw like the, the one video that I put up on this, uh, where it was like the whole team died and there was just like one person left. And yet, I miraculously defeated the whole thing, it was like... It took me a while to figure out on how to do that. Uh, let's charge. Here you go, here. Uh, sword splitter... Oh, no, say 198. Yeah, let's give him some more poison. At least that, I know that attack doesn't do any... use any spirit energy. The quicker I can get Yusuke to that... to that red square, the better. I'm just gonna go after and go. Alright, to give everyone a quick update on uh, what's been going on, why I didn't upload anything last week, I do apologize. First of all, I did have to work, so... That that comes first. That's my number one priority. Work. No, I was called in to work extra, and then finally uh, my internet went down, so I couldn't upload. But mainly work. So, but I will uh, still get these videos up, and uh, I can't take that. Okay, so let's just. Poison strike this guy like we've been doing. Yeah. This guy's like saying, out of my way. I have. Let's see, overdrive. Let's. Overdrive spear on this guy here. In this case, still like we're close to full health. He a uh, sword splitter on that. Yeah. 
Karama's like the only one stored full health. Six. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now the countdown begins. And basically what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna heal up some more. And I have faith in the rest of these guys here. Too, too slow. That, that clock should have started already. Yeah. Yeah, 41. I can't... I, I actually can't stay, get off of that. I have to stay on that for the remaining 35 seconds that that clock is uh, ticking away. But, by standing on that, we don't get any more at monsters to the board. That's a good thing. 67. Okay. No, I can't move that. searching around yesterday on the internet uh, a couple days ago when I was at work. Yeah, I do get internet while I'm at work, so uh, yeah, that's the beauty of it. And I came across that Daniel X, uh, Alien Hunter Daniel X, a uh, book written by James Patterson. And I really don't know too much about the series. I uh, haven't read it. I'm right now currently reading the le the second to last book in Maximum Ride. So I'm reading the... And there they go. They are no more. Took us a while to get rid of them, but uh, we finally prevailed. Prevailing wins. Here it gun. Let's see who's Munoy. You are, since you're right behind me. And yes, now I can move off of that dreaded square. Let's go here. Overdrive. Dust Seed. Probably my, my, one of my favorite attacks, but it comes from so far away. Oh, well, and I'm surprised I didn't get the counter sign. Let's see. 
Move you here behind you, okay? Four monsters remain. Yeah, take a kick. Two thirteen. The, these guys have a lot of uh, HP. But, you know. Yeah, Rinku, we need to we need to talk. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, I'm also starting up, uh, I'm not sure if you actually saw the preview video for it, but if you did, uh, hopefully uh, you guys will be able to contribute, like, your favorite anime character and the classic TV game show Pressure Luck, I'm starting that as a series. So, you know, that'll probably be uploaded at least once a week. Who are you going after? You're going after here, okay. Come on, let's see. Snap kick. Yeah, 31. Yeah, that's done. So, you know, I'm going to be doing that. And if you guys want to see your favorite characters, just let me know, and I'll be glad to incorporate them into an episode of uh, the game. Of course, one of them will be coming back as a returning champion, so I'm staying true to the original ninth, the original 80s version of the show. I do have, I have got the Pressure Luck Mask uh, Expert Edition. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's called the Expert Edition of Pressure Luck. But basically, it's a, it uses the original slides and everything, so it's a more updated version of uh, that from the version that Kirk King used to have out. And if you can find that, good. That's a, that's a classic version. But uh, you can also download the expert edition of uh, Pressure Luck. Um, I don't believe it's on the boards. Pressure PYL Boards 2. Uh, that's where all the mods are. That's where the modifications are for the game. Uh, no. So if you really want to get into that, I recommend that. It's a good, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. It has all the sounds from the show. Uh, it has all the whammies, so, uh, you know. When you stop on that, you don't want to stop on those. And uh, we are almost done with this map. Three people left. And... Yeah. I think we got it. Rose Whip. Of course, he and Yukino will sit out on the next map. Give him one map to rest. USK is only left with a spirit kick to this guy. And he's 79. So, Karama, you go here. Let's see, can I use a death scene? No, but I can use a rose whip for 43. Yo yo shot him, and uh. You know the funny thing? These, uh. This is it! He's our last monster! And with that. No, not wait. Mend. Charge. Rinku... Not useless, but uh, I wanted to do something with that. 
Yes. <laughs> That's for Rinku. Did it. With only two people that survived, so Rinku won't be coming up on the next map by Yusuke. Wow. Kurama had like the most on that. Kurama 390 bonus. Yeah, and we're like two things away from everything. So actually, let's go to here. Ogre! Ogre! You lug! I can't get a hold of anyone from the tournament! Where is my assistant, Botan? It's her job to keep an eye on my team. Do I still have to... I do still have to run Spirit World. You know, Ogre, are you listening? I'll grind you... The, I'll grind out <laughs> your tiny horn. I'm sorry, sir. Please have mercy on my horn. It's my only natural defense. Oh, here is Botan now. Koema, I have terrible news. Team Tagore look, looked unstoppable in the preliminaries, and Team Yurameshi will surely have to face them in the finals. Mm. Don't fear, Botan. I had... I handpicked these guys. I never make a mistake. No, I've never made a mistake. Yeah, bad voice acting. Bert. Sir, what about the time he and Karama stole the artifacts of darkness and you could only sob in the corner? Shut up! You've angered me. You've angered your employer. Ogre. Now bring me your <laughs> Honestly, you two need to grow up. What would King Yama say about your behavior? Yes, uh, to any of you who have actually seen the show, King Yama is, in fact, uh, Koema's father. Let's actually start this battle and find out what we have to do here. We have to destroy all the enemies. Yay, it's another destroy all enemies map. And we're going to start off with Jin using, hopefully, a... Uh, a wide range of attack will win. That's always fun to get the party started. Uh, a nice big attack. And yes, 275. Not bad. I think Korama learned something on that last attack. And we really can't do anything with Toya. Uh, I like this. You just can just stand right here. And I can't. Gotta move him up a few. Okay, there we go. To you just can't, can't attack this. But what I was trying to say on the last map, in the last, well, earlier on, was that I was searching around on the internet and I came across that they gave Daniel X his own video game. Uh, Alien Hunter Daniel X, book written by James Patterson, who is also a writer of the Witch and Wizard series, and of course my favorite series, Maximum Ride, and um, some other good books too. Uh, I know he's a great writer and everything, but uh, if you get the chance, I do recommend that you do check out Maximum Ride. The last book comes out in less than three months. Three months away for that last book. What will happen? I don't know, and at least I like that. He's letting the fans write the epilogue of this. He's, it's a contest, though. That's, that's what I like. Let's see. Uh, what are you at? You're at full. You. Take a tornado. And he's taken seven. He took the fifty-eight on that. Yeah, this is like a map where I can really uh, send out these guys to do everything that I want them to do. Like, for instance, this seed him. So basically, this is like 
I think Karama's gonna level up on this map. I think a lot of people are gonna level up on this map. But, you know, I beg to differ, I digress on that. Yeah, let's spear gun this guy. So, yeah, they give, they give Daniel X his own game, but they don't give Max and the Flock a game uh, uh, for the DS. I would love to see that. I would enjoy to play that type of a game if they gave Max and everyone. You know, you get to take control of the flock and uh, fight off evil white coats and uh, all the things from the books. If there's any game designers out there that are actually watching my videos, please, you know, try to work on something like this. Create us a game for the Mac for Max Ride. For the Maximum Ride series. I'm actually reading the last book now, even though I picked it up like what? Two months ago when the, when actually he released the deluxe edition, I picked it up. I am all set. I am ready for the last book. I've already got it pre-ordered and everything. And uh, it comes out on a Tuesday, the 6th. 8-6-2012. Will Max and, and everybody save the world? Like she's been pressure to do and only time will tell if Max actually does what she needs. Thank you too, you did something useful. Okay, let's move here. Yeah, I realized that, um, hopefully, like I said, Yoko Kurama does make an appearance in this game. He's actually one of my favorite characters from the Yu Yu Hakusho series. Kurama is actually my favorite character, and that's why I use him in a lot of the, uh, the maps when he doesn't pass out. Uh, Chu, yeah, you, I mean, not you, Jin, charge. Don't want to lose my win, the Windmaster. And we'll poison again. So let's take care of this guy behind uh, he. Behind here. I, I said behind he. No, that's behind Karama. He short black hair. Yeah, let's take care of this guy. 47. Yeah, I think that's the end of uh, Jin. Yep. Jin came so undefeated. He's been defeated. Let's see. You're next on the list. 102. 1021. Uh, that's a radio station up here in New York, I believe. I don't. If it was 101, then yes. And, uh, you know, I'm still waiting to hear back from the uh, radio station about when I could come down and pick up those tickets to go see uh, Van Halen playing over at the Izard Center in, like, what, two months? This uh, I called them and I finally got a hold of the person and they said that they give out the tickets a month before for the concert, so, you know, that's nice. Let's see, the seed, you. 126. And yeah, let's give you the spare guide. 
and then I'll just wait for it to be uh, my team's turn because the for that the game won't let me pause it when it's that. Okay, and then until next time when we see Team Yorimeshi bat do battles against the evils of this map. I'm Sukine007, and I'll see you next time for more of Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics. Until then, take care, everybody. Bye bye.